A man responsible for a hit and run that left a Lawrence University student severely injured last year was sentenced today. Justin Jorgensen will spend time in jail, but only during the months of October during his 10 years of probation. Local 5's Robin Ogenye was in court as the sentence was handed down. She joins us live from the studio now with details. Robin? Aaron, Tom, Justin Jorgensen was sentenced to 10 years probation, but it's not as simple as that. The victim did not want to be identified by name or be shown on camera at all, but she did want her voice to be heard. So instead of her face, you'll see video of where the hit and run happened from when we first brought you the story last October. More than, more than any of the physical pain I experienced, the biggest pain I felt was knowing that someone had absolutely no regard for my life. I was lying in the middle of the road. I couldn't move, I couldn't get up. I talked to you, but I told you I was in pain and I needed the help. You told me I was fine. And then Justin Jorgensen drove away. He was arrested later that night, but the event still has left the victim and her family with more questions than answers. Will she walk again normally? Will she be able to swing that? Will her bones and bruise heal properly? With her recent pain, how can we get her leg function to come back? Can she bear children? Jorgensen spent four days in prison, but now he has been sentenced to 10 years probation. But each October for those 10 years, he will serve jail time. From October 1st to the 15th, he will sit in jail. He will remain in jail the 16th through the 31st, but will be allowed to leave for work release. Jorgensen spoke before the sentence was handed down. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart how truly sorry I am. I think about that night every day and every and every night and how I wish I could take it back over and over. A life forever changed. You have stolen a life from me and given me a new one, one where I have to be conscious of every physical activity, but at least I know people love me. All I ask is that you think about what you have done to me and everyone around me when you decided to drive away. Now, technically, Jorgensen was sentenced to 12 months in prison not to be served consecutively. He'll spend a total of 10 months in jail over the next 10 years, and the extra two months the judge can administer as extra jail time if Jorgensen violates his probation. A restitution hearing has been requested. Jorgensen could pay the victim and her family at least $250,000. In the studio, Robin Oginye, Local 5 News.